Cindy Bennett, 536 Woodfield Drive, Covington. That's my husband's story. But don't just take, take it for that. Talk to the parents who brought their students to the division. Talk to the teachers who worked for Allegheny and are now here. Talk to the administrators that served in the county but are now employed here. Talk to past school board members like me who have witnessed the constant struggle for Covington to have a, a voice that has gone on for years at the JRTC Board of Contro uh, Joint Control. Of course, this is not in the booklet that we just looked at, but these things did occur, and these things could occur during the joint consolidated school system. You may ask, why are we discussing consolidation now after Covington City uh, citizens have been to the polls two separate times and said no? Why are we, the voters, being left out of the plan and allowing the decision to be made by our appointed board members and elected representatives? The reason is clear. The reason is clear. Listen, while I read from page one of the, ex uh, excuse me, from the executive summary of the physical, uh, feasibil feasibility study, excuse me, primarily, Due to its loss of pupils, Allegheny has been losing state aid. Allegheny County lost roughly $1.4 million in total state aid from fiscal year of 2013 through 2020. A total loss of $769,000 was due to the physical year 2020 expiration of the 15-year state consolidation incentive that reduced their local composite index for its merger with Clifton Forge. Allegheny is running out of money or has run out of money through those consolidations with Clifton Forge. They are losing students at an amazing rate, an alarming rate, and now they come knocking at our doors wanting us to be able to help them not make the tough decisions where they have to go out and raise taxes or close more schools. Look at the graph that's on your page 13 that's in that packet that they gave you. That graph shows you that next year alone, under the Consolidated Division, the Covington taxpayers, based on per, pu per pupil funding, they would be responsible for 36% of the operating budget plus capital improvements. Remember, Allegheny's enrollment is declining, and in proposed in 2025, the City of Covington would be responsible for 42% of that same amount. It doesn't go down. I say all that to say this. Where was Allegheny school board members when the money was flowing? Is this really about students or is it about the money? money. money. Instead of having numerous meetings and having numerous meetings looking for an, a way to end our school system, why are we not having numerous meetings in order to find a way to keep it open and striving? Now, we have to be honest with ourselves. If we want to stay independent, we will have to cut back and we will have to be somewhat physically smaller. We realize that. We cannot have both ways wanting to do everything that we have always done and think that the city will have money for it in the future. Our school system is worth fighting for. And you, as the members, you as the member of this board, and of council will forever be remembered as ones that saved our school, not the ones that ended the entire system. Thank you. God bless each member up here, and God bless Covington City School System.